हाई एवरी वन दिस इज बिलाल खान एंड यू आर वॉचिंग सिंप्लीफाइड कोडिंग वेलकम टू एंड्रॉयड लॉग इन टूटोरियल सीरीज एंड इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव क्रिएटेड द डिज़ाइंस द स्क्रीन डिज़ाइंस फॉर आवर एप्लीकेशन एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टेल यू हाउ यू कैन सेटअप द रेट्रोफिट क्लाइंट फॉर योर प्रोजेक्ट बिकॉज वी आर गोइंग टू यूज रेट्रोफिट फॉर द नेटवर्क कॉल्स सो वी नीड टू सेट इट अप फर्स्ट सो लेट्स डू इट इन आवर प्रोजेक्ट so inside my main package i will create one more package to store all the classes and files related to networking so i will create a new package and i will name it network now inside this network package first i will create the interface where i will define the api calls so let's create a new kotlin file and inside this file i will create the endpoints for login and sign up so i will create a file named auth api and it is an interface now here first i will define my function that will hit the login api so let's define the function i will create a function named login and this function will return me any i have not created the response class to map the response so that is why for now i have given any as the return type now to this function we will pass two fields so we will define the field with the field annotation so first one is email so we have email of type string then we have field password and it is also string so we have our function login now for this function we need to define the url endpoint and to define the url endpoint we will annotate it with post because the login api accepts a post request so what i will do is i will define my endpoint that is auth and then login because we are using field annotation here we need to make this function as form url encoded now if you are confused about these things then first you need to check the retrofit tutorial that you can check from this card so we have our function for login now inside the network package we will create one more class to get our retrofit client so let's create a new kotlin file and i will name it remote data source you can name your files anything you want so i have given this name because it makes sense so i will create a class named remote data source and for now i will define a companion object to define the base url so i will define the base url here as private const val and base url and we need to give the base url so in my case it is http colon double forward slash then simplified coding dot tech and then my web app and then public so this is my base url and i have created it while deploying the api project to a shared hosting you can also check this video from this card so if you have hosted your api to your own server then you can use your own base url and if you want to use mine then you can use it but i'm not sure how long it will be live because as i told you earlier i am not going to renew this hosting so we have our base url now here i will create a function that will create the retrofit client so i will create a function named build api now it will be a generic function so what i will do is i will define the type as api and to this function we will pass api that is a class of type api like this now inside this function we will build our retrofit client or you can say api interface we are going to build inside this function so what i will do is i will write return then retrofit actually the same thing that we do for creating a retrofit api so we have retrofit dot builder 
and then the first thing that we do is we define the base URL that we already have here after defining the base URL I will add the converter factory and it is JSON converter factory someone commented that instead of JSON converter factory I should use Moshi so I will try using it later for now we are going to use JSON converter factory only so we have the converter factory here and then after adding the converter factory we can build our API and after building the API we will create the actual API using the create function and here we will pass the API like this uh, we are getting an error because we have not defined the return type for this function so this function will give us API now our function build API is ready we will call this function by passing our API interface to get the API where we can call the functions to hit our URL endpoints so we have the function ready now finally we will create one more class to wrap the API response and we are going to do it because API sometimes return actual information and API sometimes can return error so we need to handle both the cases for example there may be a network error or an API error so any kind of error can occur so we need to handle this so to handle the API success and failure responses we will create a sealed class so let's create another class inside the network package and I will name this class as resource so I will create a class named resource and it is a sealed class so we have sealed class resource and for this class we will define t because this class also going to be generic and it will handle all kind of api responses so that is why i have the type as t now i will define two data classes inside this resource class one is for success and another one is for failure so we have data class success and for this success class I will define the type again as t and to the constructor we will pass the value of type t and this class is also resource of type t so we have the data class to wrap the success response inside our resource class now I will create one more class to wrap the error response so now I have data class failure and it won't return us T because it is a failure situation so what we will do is we will return the values that are required to handle failure so the first thing that I will define is is it a network error so we have val is network error of type boolean so this value will be true when we have a network error after this we have error code to get the actual api error code in case we don't have a network error so it is of type end and finally after this error code we will get the error response body so we have error body and it is of type response body and all the fields are nullable now we can use this sealed class to wrap our API responses and handle the success and failure properly so that is all for this video friends in the next video we will actually hit our login API and we will use this sealed class to handle the error and success situation but we are going to do all these things in the next video so stay tuned subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed and you can hit on that like button and you can share this video with your friends to help me get more subscribers so thanks for watching everyone this is Bilal Khan now signing off